Hello, and welcome to Teaching Tuesday. I'm Heather McGee. Today, we're going to be making sunflowers. Now, if you look right behind me over my shoulder here, you'll notice that I've got one growing in my garden. As a matter of fact, we've got quite a few. The heads are getting very heavy and they're starting to fall over. It's not gonna to be too long before the seeds are nice and dry and the birds will want to eat them for the winter. We've even had some birds munching on them now. There's little holes in the top of the sunflower over there where the finches have been eating them. So let me tell you what we're gonna to need today. I just got a new stack of construction paper and I'm really excited. So this is what you'll need. You'll need a piece of construction paper for the background. Okay, I used pink on this one. I think I'm gonna use a light purple on the next one. You'll need some green and two sheets of yellow. You'll also need your scissors, a pencil, a glue stick, a piece of newspaper. This one's not very big. You're not gonna to need too much of it. And I have a cup that we're going to use as a pattern. You need two different size circles. So the top of this I'm going to use for the center of the sunflower and the bottom we'll use to trace for the petals. Okie dokie, let's get started. I have my background piece that I'm just gonna tuck over here. I'm gonna put it under the edge of my computer so it doesn't blow away. I'm gonna start with the green. You don't need a lot of this. I'm gonna measure the bottom circle and I'm going to put it on the very corner of my green. See that right there? I'm going to trace around that. Trace around the circle. This is going to be a leaf. Cut that out. I'm just going to cut a little square out here. While I've got my scissors, I'm going to cut a long strip. This is going to be the stem of the sunflower. There we go. So I've got the circle and I've got my long strip. So I'm going to cut the circle out. For little guys, as you remember how we're cutting, remember I'm keeping my scissors pointed comfortably ahead and I'm turning the paper. Remember that? We've talked about that a lot of times. There we go. So we've got a circle. I'm going to put my piece of scrap paper over here. Now, so this doesn't blow away since I am outside. I'm going to take my glue stick, run a strip of glue right across the back of that piece of green, and line it up all the way down at the bottom of the paper and just glue it down. It doesn't look like mine's exactly in the middle, but that's all right. Now, with the circle, let me show you what we're going to do here. I'm going to take one side of the circle and fold it towards the center. I'm not folding it the whole way in half. You see that? Not the whole way in half. Now, take the other side, and this is going to fold a little crooked so that one side of your circle is very small and the other side is curved and much bigger. You see that? So I've got two folds and we're going to glue this on. I'm going to put some glue on the back of it, glue it right down to my paper so that it doesn't blow away. There we go. Now we've got the stem and we have a leaf. I'm going to put this aside for a moment. And the next thing we need is our large piece of paper. Now we're gonna need to cut about 16 circles. Ugh, nose is itchy. You can look and see about how big this, those circles are gonna be. I'll put my finger there for a minute. I'm gonna fold this piece of paper into a strip that's big enough to put circles on. Yep, that's big enough. <clears throat> now instead of cutting all of these circles one at a time, I'm going to accordion fold the paper and only make four cuts. Let me show you how. So we've started with our first cut across here. I'm gonna turn this over and bend the paper back 
to the same width as that first strip and fold it down. I'll turn your paper over and we'll do it again. Ooh, I have enough left. I might be able to show four pieces. One, two, three, four. This bottom one is pretty big. I'm going to cut this bottom one off because I do not need that right now. I think I can do this with only one sheet of yellow paper. Now I've got my accordion fold. See that? It looks like an M or W if you fold it upside down. Now we're going to keep all those folds together. Taking your cup, put the littlest part of your cup, the bottom of it, on your paper. It's towards the end. And push that down. I'm going to take my pencil and draw around the bottom. There we go. See that? It's kind of crooked. But when I cut it, it'll even out a little bit. I'm going to put three more circles along the edge here. One, two, whoops, and three. Sometimes I go off the edge of the paper with my pencil. Now I have four circles, but each one of them has got three more layers underneath it. You see that? So now I'm going to cut these out. If you need help from somebody that's a little older, they can help you out. Remember to turn the paper, but keep your wrist straight with your scissors. There we go. If you try and turn, oh no, they're blowing away. <laughs> okay, hold on. I put my stuff under my computer so they don't blow away. If you try and turn your wrist the whole way around like this, see how I'm keeping the, peop the paper the same place and trying to turn my hand? It's very uncomfortable and pretty soon you're pointing your scissors back at yourself. So make sure that you're keeping your wrist pretty straight and your scissors pointed towards the front of you. Turn the paper and not your scissors. And circles are kind of fun because you just keep turning the paper and you get to the other side. Got one more to do. You know what? The wind is blowing away my circles. I think I've got a couple extra over here, which will be good. Whew, that one didn't work all right on the edge. Put my trash over here. The little bugs floating around all over the place too. Now this last piece that you have, the piece I cut off, we're going to make a bigger circle. So I'm turn the cup over and I think Oh, it will just fit on there. If your circle does not fit on the leftover piece of paper, use another piece of yellow. There we go. Cut this one out. This is going to be the center of your sunflower. Now the centers of sunflowers are different colors depending on the time of year. Right now they're still very yellowy. As they get closer to being completely dead and dried out, they get browner. All right, are you ready for the next part? All right, you need to take your background paper back again. And I'm going to glue the circle over top of the stem. I'm gonna leave lots of space around the outside. Now it could be a sunflower bud because there aren't any petals on it. That's what all your little circles are going to be. And you should have 16. You may or may not be able to fit them all here, but we're gonna try. Remember how we folded this leaf? I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm folding a couple of the petals together because it's quicker. I'm gonna fold part of your circle up, not the whole way, just part of it, see that? And now we need to fold it so we have a little end and a big end. There we go. Little end and a big end. And I'll take those apart. I'll do some more over here. I think I have four in my stack. Fold part of your circle in. 
take the other side, fold it so that you have a little end and a big end. See how little it is up on this part? But you've got a nice big arc over here. Just take those apart. There's some more. Four more. These are the ones we cut together. One side, and then you have a little side and a big side. There. Making lots of petals. And I have four left. Fold them, hold, holding onto them together. Little side on this end, and then a big side over here. And take those apart. Now you have a whole pile of petals. We need to put them onto the paper. You know what? I think we're we're moving the video screen, but you can see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to start at the bottom, and I'm just going to put some glue around the edge. I'm only going to do a quarter of it right now because it dries out pretty quickly. And I'm going to put my petals almost up to the edge. I kind of like a little space in there. They're going to be as close together as you could get them as you're going up around your flower. See how you're putting the petals on there? Put some more glue on the next part. There we go. Ooh, that's a big petal. Sometimes you gotta have a little more space in them. See how these I put really tight around the bottom, but then the tops don't fit. Just kind of adjust them as you go so that you can make them fit. If there's a little bit of overlap like here, that will work just fine also. You can tell my circles are different shapes a little bit. They're a little, little wiggly around the edges. Some of them are a little bit bigger than others. Is that going to affect your progress? Not at all. Your project is still going to look pretty cool. There we go. Squish them around here. Some are a little further apart than others. Do you think I can fit all of my petals on here? I don't think they're all going to fit. That's all right. There's a little extra here. Mm, just one more? Oh no! I think I'll do one at the bottom that's going to overlap. Because I have some space here. You think that will look okay? Ooh, what if I put it out here a little bit? No, I don't, I don't like that one very much. I'll just do that. We'll just open it out. And this one I can put over in the middle of the space. If your glue isn't isn't set already, you can just slide it over a little bit. There. Look at that. So right now, you have a really cool looking flower. But sunflower seeds grow in the middle of those flowers, don't they? Birds love them. People, I think, like them too. So this is the next step. You're going to take a little piece of... of newspaper and I'm going to tear just little pieces off of it. See that? And I'm going to squish them up. Just little pieces and make them into little balls. Now when you do this you're probably going to get black all over your hands. If that's the newsprint coming off. It'll wash off with soap and water. So as I'm going down here you can see tearing up little bits. Some are bigger than others. These are going to be my sunflower seeds. They're not ripe yet, so they're not very dark black. They're gray, they're white. There's a little bit of yellow that's going to show through here. Some of these pieces are bigger than others. When you get some done, you start in the middle, put some glue in the middle of your sunflower. Oh no, I dropped my glue in my glue. <laughs> they're blowing away. I'm going to squish these right down into the glue. I've got four there. Got a few more that I can put on here. I'm getting glue all over the place. Ah, Miss Heather, you're making a mess. You ever make a mess? Oh my goodness. I do too. 
Right now, the wind has blown bits and pieces of my project all over the yard, so I'm going to have to go clean those up. Put a little more glue in here so there's room for <laughs> room for more. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is definitely one of those things where I'm making a mess. Tear up a few more and stick them in here right on the glue. If they start to come off, you could just add some more glue in there. You could squish them back on again. Definitely not a perfect circle, is it? I'm just going to say that maybe the birds have already eaten the seeds on one side of my sunflower. Just like mine that are growing behind me. There we go. I think we've got little pieces right in the middle there. There we go. See if I can hold this up without the pieces falling off. See? I'm just going to say a bird has eaten some of the seeds already. I hope that you've had fun making sunflowers with me today, and I've really enjoyed being here outside in front of my own sunflowers. Have a good day. Bye.